uh, how can geometry in ancient times or today be used to understand reality? And maybe how do you think about geometry as a distinct tool in mathematics and physics? Yes, geometry is my favorite part of math as well. And Greeks were enamored by geometry. They tried to describe physical reality using geometry and principles of geometry and symmetry. Platonic solids, the five solids they had uh, discovered had these beautiful solids. They thought it must be good for some reality. They, there must be explaining something. They attached, you know, one to air, one to fire and so forth. So they tried to give physical reality to symmetric objects. Mm -hmm. These symmetric objects are symmetries of rotation and discrete symmetry groups we call today of rotation group in three dimensions. Now, we know now, we kind of laugh at the way they were trying to connect that symmetry to you know, the laws of the, the, the realities of, of physics. But actually it turns out in modern days, we use symmetries in not too far away, exactly in these kind of thoughts processes in the following way. In the, in the context of string theory, which is this, the field I study, we have these extra dimensions. And these extra dimensions are compact, tiny spaces typically, but they have different shapes and sizes. We have learned that if, you, if these extra shapes and sizes have symmetries, which are related to the same rotation symmetries that the Greek were talking about, if they enjoy those discrete symmetries, and if you if you take that symmetry and quotient the space by it, in other words, identify points under these symmetries, you get properties of that space at the singular points, which force emanates from them. Mm. What forces? Forces like the ones we have seen in nature today, like electric forces, like strong forces, like weak forces. So these same principles that was, were driving them to connect geometry and symmetries to nature is driving today's physics, now much more you know, modern ideas, but nevertheless, the symmetries connecting geometry to physics. In fact, often we sometimes we, have, we ask the following question. Suppose I want to get this particular you know, physical reality. I want to have these particles with these forces and so on. What do I do? It turns out that you can geometrically design the space to give you that. You say, oh, I put the sphere here. I will do this. I will shrink them. So if you have two spheres touching each other, and shrinking to, to zero size, that gives you strong forces. If you have one of them, it gives you the weak forces. If you have this, you get that. And if you want to unify forces, do the other thing. So these geometrical translation of physics is, is one of my favorite things that we have discovered in, in modern physics in the context of string theory.